Hello, everybody. Adam Yakovlev, I hope I pronounce his name properly, sent me a mail and asked if I could show how to model a ratchet wheel. He said if he does it, he usually ends up with n-gons or triangles and asked if there is a straightforward way to do this. I will do a general purpose ratchet wheel and this technique can be used for any ratchet wheels. So I start with a circle with 20 sides. And I make it 222 by 222 and 0 here. Drop the tool. Then select this polygon, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in a bit and middle mouse button click twice and delete. Actually we only need these here, so invert the selection and delete A key. Then I go to vertex mode, put these two vertices to here and this one to here. Now we need the essential uh, edges which then basically will hold our shape. So shift C I cut through here, shift click, cut through here, drop the tool and if I activate the grid and the words then we see that this vertex here will go to here when we radial array this shape but we need more to hold the shape we need one in here so shift 3 uh, C through here make sure you have snapping on and angle snap so this becomes really a straight line now these two vertices here will match with these two here drop the tool now we can clean up certain things like we don't need these edges in here I can go to vertex mode and move this one to here then we need another cut through here so C key go to here and I don't want to make this one too big so drop the tool, select this W key, action center element and bring it a bit to here. Now we have these edges <coughs> and I can delete this here and we need one more cut through here it doesn't matter so without snapping because this one will be above these two and we'll just make sure that we hold this shape you will see as soon as I uh, as I radial array this okay now let's see what we have here we have eight edges and in fact we don't need these two then we can put in a polygon, P key, 3, and then go to polygon, quadruple, uh, no, don't like this. I want to have an edge in here. So if we go to the statistics by vertex, you see we have all quads. And if I subdivide this, then you see that we hold this edge here nicely. Next, I go to Duplicate, Radial Array, Count of 10, Action Center, Origin, 
and click in the viewport. And now we can see that we have the typical three squares around this edge we'll, with which will make sure that we also hold these edges. So get rid of the words and then I go to vertex, merge, automatic, 26 vertices have merged. That's not good because we need a multiple of 10. So merge again, but this time fixed with a very small distance, 0.1 millimeters, and four more have merged, and now it's total of 30. And you see, our ratchet wheel holds the shape very nicely. We can now delete these. Check how many edges we have here, 30, go to basic, uh, cylinder with 30 edges and bring it out from the center. Uh, maybe 165 by 165 and zero here, drop the tool shift, select these edges and bridge them together. Now the P key, 3, B for bevel again, bevel it in a bit, shift click, bevel it in a bit more, shift click, a bit more and delete. Next we must make the counterpart. I don't know the English name for this, but you will know what I mean. I think 12 edges should be enough. <coughs> Bring out something like this here. Um, 55 by 55 and 0 here. Drop the two B for bevel, bevel this in to about here, delete. Now here we have three edges, one, two, three. Then I can take three edges here and bridge. Then I bring this a bit closer, W key maybe to here and then select an edge in here, Alt C with the count of one, yes, W key, make this look about like so, then the T key and move this vertex a bit so maybe also this one good now i control x control v this part hide this one and then select these two vertices here r key but action center element and then bring them in like this. Go to polygon mode, B for bevel, bevel this in just a bit like so and cut in additional edges in here because you see, if I, when I subdivide it, this gets round. This would have been round as well. And if I cut in an edge like this, it will nicely hold the shape. But we cannot yet remove these edges here, because if I do, then you see it gets a triangle, so Control Z. We can remove it later unhide everything, still in polygon mode, perspective, shift X, and then I bring this out to maybe minus 30, 
and drop the two center selected all. No need for the grid anymore. Now I can select L key B for bevel. Bevel is in on the blue one and then on the red one like so, drop the tool. Now I can select um, two edges here, up arrow key and then L key, B for bevel with the round level of one, yeah. Bevel it in a bit, drop the tool and now we can delete these edges Backspace delete and you see now we are left with all quads and we hold our shapes nicely. If I go to sub D mode, no, not quite. We need some edges in here. One in here, hold C, count of two and symmetry. And now we are finished. So that's it for now. I hope uh, you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.